morning guys so i had this idea to come to the beach at sunrise uh, to shoot some pictures there's a graveyard behind me and oh my god i don't remember the last time i was on the beach at sunrise if ever and wow it's the air is fresh the world is still asleep and it's just so quiet and so peaceful it's almost 5 a.m and i kind of feel like waking up at 5 a.m and coming to the beach every day this is amazing by the way an insect bit my lip just right here not a good timing at all <laughs> um, but hopefully that won't be visible in pictures so i don't even know what it is if it's a mosquito or what anyway yeah it's just gorgeous and i'm wearing my new super cozy hoodie from dams and madden i'm gonna link it in the info bar it's the coziest thing ever um it's around 16 degrees now it's gonna be 30 today so i better get my things and go shooting i've got my chair my tripod a bunch of clothing uh, from Lindex because I'm working with Lindex and I wanted to shoot their clothes in a slightly more creative way or just like in a beautiful setting it's beautiful That was the most wholesome morning ever and I'm so tempted to become this type of person who could wake up at 5 in the morning and go to the beach for a run or a swim. Um, actually, as I'm leaving, two people uh, showed up, a girl walking her dog and uh, a man on a bike. He biked to the beach, he did some stretches. Uh, so I wish I were that kind of person, but basically I just didn't go to sleep and waited until like 4.30, um, basically waited until sunrise. Anyway, I had a lovely shoot, I had a swim, obviously didn't have my bikini because I wasn't planning on swimming. I just went in my underwear. The water was cold, but like refreshingly cold. So yeah, I'm gonna drive home now and go to sleep because i haven't slept yet morning guys i'm saying a proper good morning now just woke up so i'm still sleepy faced um slept for about five hours i want to say 
came back, did my skincare routine and went to sleep. So now I'm gonna have some breakfast. Actually this evening I'm going to the beach again, but with my friends Christina and Beatrice. We'll actually meet at Christina's where we'll make homemade pizza. So I need to get um, all the toppings I wanna use on my pizza. And then we'll go to the beach where we'll have a picnic. So I need to go out to buy snacks for our picnic this evening. Um, I'm also gonna bake a Swedish bread over the weekend I used Matilda Dierf's um, recipe on Instagram. It's so simple, so easy to make and I have some dough in the fridge. So I'm gonna bake that bread, take some games and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lovely evening. And uh, now after breakfast, I have lots of work to do, need to edit for YouTube, need to edit pictures. And later I'll head to the post office to ship two pieces of clothing you guys bought for me and then um, get ready for the evening. Out of my favorite Yosa um, oat milk, I need to purchase that today. It honestly makes my coffee taste so good. This is not an ad, but they should definitely sponsor me. So now I'm gonna make myself some coffee. So, so good. Tastes incredible. Hi. I'm talking to Louis and Dorian is very jealous. I'm petting Louis, he'll come right away. He's like, what about me? What about me? my breakfast in the garden but it's 30 degrees today so I'm not going to um, it's way too hot so yeah this is my breakfast and um, you cannot even see granola it's actually okay in the shadow not too too hot my mom has been trimming our apple tree so as you can see lots of leaves on the ground it's unbearable in sunlight it's so hot I want to show you guys a rose bush because it's so beautiful. I got it to mom for Mother's Day. I think a couple years ago, maybe two, three years ago. just picked up um, a package with two beautiful handbags but I'll show them to you a little bit later. Now I'm off to Acropolis to return one piece of clothing, ship the two items and then I just received a message that my film was developed and I can pick up my film photos. I chose digital version so I won't have them printed but I can do that anytime so I'm just really excited to finally see them. milk has sold out there's only cacao one but my pictures guys they are so cute the pictures of linda on the beach stormy beach are incredible i'm gonna insert them here um so yeah, here's my film and i bought a new film so that i could use today on the beach with the girls i'll show you guys really quickly what i got at the supermarket so because they were sold out of Yosa um, oat milk, I got this one from Alpro Barista. Uh, I think this will taste really nice as well because yeah, I like a thicker, creamier oat milk. Then I got white lilies, some blueberries, 
some mushrooms to go on my pizza. Then I got these. I always wanted to try them. Uh, Tyrell's black truffle and sea salt um, English crisps. You guys know my love for truffle. Anything with truffle I absolutely love. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna already had this in the fridge my favorite truffle cheese gonna take that some cheese and meat to go on my pizza i'm gonna um, pick some rucola in my grandmother's garden and um, yeah that's gonna be oh i also bought wine this is lithuanian wine quince wine um it's really summery and really nice already showed you that i got a new film so i'm gonna put it in my camera to take some pictures and then um, these are the two handbags that I picked up today but I'm not gonna show you now because I need to go take my shower really quickly. I think I'm, this is what I'm gonna wear. Maybe change into a more casual t-shirt. No makeup because it's too hot for that. And um, yeah, I'll head to Christina's. I told you I'll show you my two new handbags. They're by Chinese designer and it's called Peko. Uh, so they come in these dust bags and the first bag is this one. They were both gifted to me but I chose the bags myself and uh, yeah this one is like a structured shoulder bag in this sort of dove gray color. It's so incredibly made. The sewing is just impeccable. I mean wow I'm so impressed. Um, they're both leather bags and you open it like this. It has a magnetic clasp. I don't know why this moves because yeah, it's just like a magnetic closure. And then this is the inside of the bag. Uh, so you have these two narrow pockets where you can keep receipts or like any paper, documents, passport or whatever. And then this is the main compartment. To me, this is a perfect handbag size. I don't like bags that are too big uh, or too small. <laughs> I mean, this is perfect to fit all my essentials. I feel like this is such a classic structured um, handbag that probably won't go out of style. So you could wear it for years and years. Um, and yeah, they have it in a few different colors, um, but this is like an easy to wear neutral so yeah that's the first bag and the second one that i chose is not structured i believe this is called their croissant bag because it does look like a croissant um so yeah it has a big zipper that's very sturdy like super high quality zip so let's take how the paper and this is the inside of the bag. So it has one big compartment. It doesn't have any pockets. But again, to me, this is the most perfect size for a handbag. And uh, you cannot adjust the length of the strap. Like with this one, you can do that. But with this, um, it's just like this. Like a little shoulder bag. It comes in tan, white, and then you have colorful ones, like I believe blue and green, and yeah, like lots of different shades. And they do a smaller size of this bag. Um, so definitely check out this brand. They do such beautiful and really unique bags, something different, which is what I like about them. Um, and yeah, they took a little while to arrive, I think. Uh, about a month but I'm just so happy with them and um, yeah I'll keep them for years you can actually wear this one as a clutch bag as well I highly recommend them they're extremely well made high quality leather handbags and this one has that sort of um, wrinkled leather texture to it which is nice so yeah these are my two new babies. The little girl to be spiked. How did you get it? Get it, Juno. Nice. Wow, how much money! This is the third pizza. Oh, oh, what's your dobar gavos? Trecha gavos geriausi. Kristina's dad made us all margaritas. Mm -hmm. 
finally going to the beach to have a picnic. <laughs> It's quite warm actually. <laughs> Anti mosquito <laughs> procedure. <gasps> the sunset. So beautiful. <laughs> We're going back to Christina's. The sun has already set. It's 11 in the evening and it's still so light. That's amazing. I love long summer days. We'll sit by the bonfire and chat and snack and maybe play card games. We heard music from here when we were on the beach. So there definitely was a concert that we missed. Apparently we're having a sleepover. We're playing card games. Look how cute! So Beatrice and I are staying at Christina's for a sleepover. We'll sleep at their terrace. Um, yeah, so cozy in here. I haven't slept at hers since childhood, probably since we were teenagers. So it just feels really nice. Um, yeah, we sat by the fire playing card games and now we are getting ready for sleep. It was such a lovely day and it's so warm outside still, so it's a nice summery sleepover. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Good night.